Hello, happy sunny Tuesday. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are. It certainly is down here in the West Country, which is lovely. It feels like spring has sprung, finally, hopefully. So today we are going to be looking at blood sugars and how to keep them stable, helps with weight control, all of that. And we've got one of our favourite guests, Elizabeth Bayliss from GP Nutrition. So Gabriella Peacock Nutrition, it's a really great British brand, female founder brand. We do, of course, have a Liz Loves on that. So 15% of everything if you want to check it out later after the live, gpnutrition.com. So that will be uh, really good because I've got, I don't know if you can see actually behind me, I've got here some of the uh, GP Nutrition range, all in sustainable packaging, which is lovely to see. So we've got antioxidants, we've got, this is really good, it's a little pack here that comes with your travel size of all the essential nutrients that you might want to take away with you, maybe if you're planning on heading out after Easter. This is a cleansing complex, whoops, and this actually, I have to say, is really good. If you are after a meal replacement, this is chocolate and salted caramel. So yeah, it is very good indeed, but it's got lots of protein in it and really good nutritional values. So I should leave that there just for a sec, because we're also going to be talking about fibre. And this is a really interesting product that they do called Feel Great Fibre, and it can help with healthy weight loss. So really good if you're thinking about getting into shape for the summer. So let's see if we have um, Elizabeth in the, in the room, as it were in the virtual room, in the lobby. And I'm also going to add Lainey as a moderator on our channel. So if you've got any queries about Lizard Wellbeing, of course, then you can always ask Lainey as well. And I think we've got Rachel in the house from my team as well. So very nice to see you all. Okay, so let us get Elizabeth in where are you? me and catch up but hopefully we will be able to get through a lot today because i know it's so oh, how are you subject. hello i'm very well thank you likewise it's wonderful spring it? we are i know it just Isn't changed it? everything and i think time. i didn't realize how long winter had been until this weekend going for such a sunny spring beach walk and thinking oh gosh you forget how energizing it is it's so great. I was just walking around the country lanes with my boys and it was, yeah, I was just looking at all the little flowers, you know, the primulas, the primroses. I've spotted little cyclamens, little white violets. I mean, it was just so uplifting, Wonderful. so joyful, those moments. You've got to capture them. So yes. we are going to talk about fibre in particular with regard yes. to weight loss and weight management because this, Feel Great Fibre, I know is an absolute bestseller of yours. Do you want to talk us yeah. through what this does in particular? Because it's a really good little... Absolutely. And finally, balance. blood sugar balance, I think, is getting the airtime that it really deserves. And, and it, it informs so many yeah. processes within the body and helps so many things. But as, as you rightly say, to, we could spend three hours talking about those. But today we'll look at kind of the weight loss because... It has become a runaway bestseller to the point we can we're trying to keep up with things and and keep up with all, yeah it's because really? only people are understanding really? the benefits and how such simple hacks I'm not necessarily a fan of this word hacks but such yeah. simple tweaks to your life can have yeah exactly yeah, that and habits, I think habits is a much better in. word because it's something you can do every day and rather than being this cut this out do this don't do that by adding feel great fiber into yeah. your diet actually you can maintain your current diet regime however once you call it your eating patterns etc but just by adding this in you can change the way that your body will metabolize everything that you're eating so it works on the premise that wow. when we have fiber before we eat anything else it slows the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream and you might we always get that oh well i don't necessarily eat sugar i don't right. have the if you're having a vegetable, if you're having a fruit, if you're having a carbohydrate, anything that isn't fat or protein, mm -hmm. you are having glucose because that's the natural structure of, of, of all the mm -hmm. plants and vegetables that we eat. 
So by having fibre at the beginning, you release this sort of membrane throughout the digestive tract that then can slow that absorption. And I'm, as you probably remember, always very visual with these things. And so instead of it just being this jet stream of sugar going into, into the bloodstream, it's this trickle through. It's like a percolator yeah. in a cafetiere. You know, it's this kind of drip feeding. So the body can process it slower which means it doesn't have to have its immediate response mm -hmm. of release insulin, bring that down, protect the body. So you have that slow release yeah. of energy, which historically we've always known from things like oats. And we, we all now are ingrained with this, oh, that's slow release mm -hmm. energy, mm -hmm. which actually isn't necessarily that true. It's slower than, say, sugar, but oats will still give you that, that huge, massive oats spike. Oats can still spike you. I've, I've actually been trialing. I saw this. I thought she's going to think I'm a stalker, but I saw it in your shower post. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I, I posted at the weekend um, mm. the, a little video of me having a shower. Obviously, <laughs> I was wearing a bathing costume. I thought, I'm not going to scare anybody <laughs> uh, or get banned. Can you imagine? Uh, so, um, but yeah, and I tried to kind of, you know, just show one side of my body, but you could see. I mean, I've actually still got it on. My, I'm doing the Zoe app blood glucose monitoring and it's really interesting that i can see even those slow release carbohydrates yep. i was surprised at sweet potato actually i thought that's you know a nice healthy vegetable nice good carb lots of beta carotene lots of fiber it for me it really spikes my insulin yep. so if i have this before i eat am i then going Absolutely. to slow and, it's, and that i was spike? literally going to bring it up myself so we're actually doing a study at the moment to show that so that we can have a side by side to say this is the impact so if you have that we recommend you take it 20 minutes before your three main meals of the day a little bit in water absolutely so you recommended daily allowance is three grams and that's where we get the food standards agency recommendation that it actually assists with weight loss when combined sure. absolutely it's the only you ingredient on the market that. yeah very that bold statement that's and that, that's been around for at least 10 years that statement you know it's not it's not new it's just that it's finally getting this recognition of how it impacts and so yeah. you take that 20 minutes before your yeah. three main meals and that will absolutely have an impact, even if it's oats. And, you know, the sweet potato we're told is low GI. Yes, but you can taste when something sweet. You know, we know. Yeah. It's like carrots, red, you know, they're pepper. very naturally sweet. Beetroot, parsnip. Yes. Red pepper. Absolutely. Lots of sugars, you know. I mean, they're still good for us and the fiber is good yeah. and they've got the antioxidants, especially the brightly colored veg. But let's not forget that there is a lot of sugar and it is going to spike and that can Definitely. sap energy. So even for those who aren't, you know, particularly. And our taste perception of sweetness has changed you know, because of the food well. that we food that we eat. You know, we, we consider <coughs> if you think yeah, how yeah. sweet chocolate is or things like that. But even the fruit now, if we, and I know we've spoken about it before, the pink lady apple versus mm -hmm. the cooking apple Braeburn we're meant to have the bitterness of the apple and actually yeah. bitterness is very good for the stomach and it helps stimulate the metabolism, etc. So by having that before 20 minutes before your main meal, you are then helping this membrane within the digestive tract, slow the absorption of glucose into the bloodstream. Now, why is that important? That's important a for balancing your, your, energy levels so your blood sugar levels are intrinsically linked to your energy levels yeah. but also we now know from these amazing mm -hmm. things like zoe where we're seeing the graphs the old adage what goes up must come down and actually it tends to go down more than it went up <laughs> so if this is your level and you're going up here you're going to ground out and and yeah. our natural instinct in the body is I'm under threat because I've got low energy and I need to survive. Therefore, your brain tells your body, eat carbohydrates. And we call it comfort mm -hmm. food. And that's exactly what it's doing. The cortisol in your body raises up because your body thinks I'm in danger. I've got low energy. So you comfort the body because cortisol is your stress right. hormone. Right. So you comfort blanket that with carbohydrate yeah. and sugar to bring that back down. And then you're on this loser's loop of constantly chasing your tail, looking for your I'm comfort. <laughs> Exactly. No. So we don't want to be on like a loser's loop. You know, it's that Come kind of thought, oh, okay, how can I calm all that down so that I'm no. not triggering my body to survive? That that's what we're doing. So, 
you're, you're yeah. bringing all that back down, which has all the myriad benefits of reducing inflammation, et cetera, et cetera. But for weight loss, it means that you are naturally going mm -hmm. to regulate your cravings without saying, mustn't have chocolate, mustn't have chocolate, mustn't have chocolate. When you reduce yeah. that. Yeah. Does it allow you a bit more leeway then it, to have a few yes, more of Yes, it does allow you that maybe. leeway in that if you have that before you have your, your sugar and what have you, you are going to process it slightly differently so you won't get that big peak and trough. So it absolutely allows you to manage it better. But it also means that I'm not riding the, the high and therefore fall of yesterday's biscuit at three o'clock because I've balanced my blood sugar levels. So I'm not constantly chasing that crash zone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Get exactly. those cravings, yes. Either you know that's the issue, isn't it? And you know, I found that I've been very low sugar now for quite a long time, and I just don't get those cravings. Yes. And I think if you're looking perhaps to break the habit and break the cycle yep. of the you know tea time biscuit tin or the mid morning chocolate bar or whatever it is, Absolutely. then I think this is a really good way of of helping. And how about? Um, our gut microbes, because we know that our gut microbes Absolutely. love fiber and they love, you know, soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. Is this actually Yeah, definitely. Help so, so well? and the, the nature of it being a soluble fiber is that it can swell up to 100 times its size when you combine with water as well. So you you already have that satiated mm -hmm. in your tummy. You know, it's kind of that so you can make informed choices. But it means that fiber then feeds the gut as it okay. goes through. So it will also help you increase how much water you're drinking. Yeah. And we know that really helps with satiety as well as obviously a huge amount of other things. Yeah. And, and it helps with this, you know, when people are losing weight, they talk about this whoosh where, where when the fat cells are releasing the fat that's in them, fat cells don't disappear. They don't leave the body, but they lose their contents. And the whoosh can come from having that water and then flushing through anything that's retained in those fat cells. So the fiber really helps with that as well, because you have to be conscious of how much water you're drinking. So, yeah, we all, all need more water. I actually put it on my mm. Instagram yesterday that our tasks for the week, four tasks I set everybody, yes. and one of them was more water. Yeah. More water, more sleep, uh, more, <laughs> oh gosh, was the third one, I can't remember now. Probably something like movement or whatever. I, I know. Yes. I know the last one was more joy, finding joy. Joy, and you know, I found my joy yeah. in the country yeah. lanes, as I said at the weekend, just with the beautiful little flowers that were coming out. That was my little moment of joy, a bit of sunshine. Um, oh, but yeah, yes. more fresh air. Which is nice that you can have the windows air. open. I'm a bit of a <laughs> fresh air freak, so as soon as it gets warm enough, they're all open and you know, flowing through the house. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So you know, coming back to fibre. The benefit then of the soluble fiber here is it is going to give us that as you say, satiety factor, which means we feel fuller for longer. So we're less likely to be hungry to mm. want to reach out and grab something. We're controlling the sugar spikes. We don't get those energy crashes. Yeah. We're helping to feed the gut microbes. Absolutely. So it's doing a lot of and things. And because you have it, it before in, in your meal, day. that society comes before you're sitting down to eat. So I always use the analogy of it's like going for dinner and not inhaling the bread basket because you're desperate to fill that hunger power, but you eat consciously. You can do that. I, do you know, I have to say now, because it's mm. so tempting, that if ever I am lucky enough to be going out to yes. eat, I either remove the bread straight away or just say to, to somebody, actually, yes. do you mind, could you just remove the bread or just not? Absolutely. Because I know I will eat it. I know if somebody offers it, yeah. it feels rude not to, and you're hungry, and straight away, I mean, and then you just think, oh, and it takes I'm time to feel that full. That's you know, when we're eating a meal, if you're eating a lovely big salad, etc., you know, it takes time for that to for the stomach to register that that's in there. So having this fiber, okay. exactly. Yeah, twenty so minutes. You, have I, this... I've read, you know, it takes twenty minutes for your brain to be registered yes. from your gut that your your tummy is full. So that's yeah. why we should slow down our eating. And if you have this twenty minutes signal. before your meal then you're hitting that satiety point so that then it's an informed choice of, okay, I want to eat till I feel 80% full. That's, our, that's the recommendation. And because you've already got something in your tummy, you're not waiting for that 20 minute lag. So absolutely, I'm not saying don't eat or anything like that. It's, I'm saying you can eat mindfully because it's not that kind of, yeah. gosh, I'm starving. I've left it a bit too long and I probably should have eaten an hour ago or, you know, what have you. Mm -hmm. Let's, I can, 
can see some questions coming in, so let's let's answer some of these. Uh, what if you only eat twice a day, Jan's yep. saying? Well, that's me, because I tend to do intermittent yep. fasting, so I tend to have a late brunch yep. and then an early-ish supper. So presumably I could you just could, use The recommendation for, from the FSA, as I say, is the three grams. So one thing is you can actually take it in your fasting zone and it won't interrupt okay. your fast because it... Yes. So will you, it, that was going to be my second question. It will not interrupt will your fast, not interrupt no. Will my fast? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> this, is, this is music to my ears. So presumably I, it will help me that. to prolong Absolutely my fasting that. Yes. period. Yes, so you can have that with your yes. MCT coffee or anything you can have it before or after. I'm obsessed with MCT. MCT, Love. and creatine yes. in my coffee It'll and this. Buy your and honestly, honestly, but also I mean, what you can do is... I, I really take it out with me in my bag. I'm like this, you know, traveling pill packet whenever I go anywhere. And if I'm having an afternoon snack or I'm hitting that low and I know I'm not going to eat for, say, an hour, or, and I fast as well, if you have yeah. that before your afternoon snack, it doesn't have to be a meal. It's just it, it's easier to remember when you're going to eat. But if you're going to have a snack in the afternoon of, say, okay. I don't know, some, some Greek yogurt or what have you, if you're being good, or even a biscuit if you're not... If you have that 20 minutes before your snack, yep. it's going to help you with how you process that snack. So it doesn't have to be a meal. It's just, we're always very careful around right. the language of, we don't ever want people to think this is a meal substitute because it's not. We're absolutely encouraging it used with food. No, exactly. No, 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 no. But if you only eat two meals absolutely. and therefore you want to take yeah. it in the afternoon to make sure you're getting your three grams, absolutely fine as part of a balanced diet. Could you have two lots of one and a half I grams, personally it think it would be too much, too much in one, one go. go. You could, absolutely, technically, but everyone is different yeah. with how much fibre they can tolerate. So right. play around with it, you know, just as you're doing with your MCT, you start with one teaspoon and then you build it up because obviously you've got to, you've got to balance your tummy up to that. Yeah. Um, same with fibre, yeah. everyone will have a slightly yeah. different yeah. reaction to it. So if that works better for you, absolutely fine. Play around and, and get your sweet spot. So what's actually in here? Completely gluten-free. Gluten so it comes from um, something called glucomallin, right. and I, it, which is the same thing. We might know those cognac sponges that you can use on the body or the face, and they go rock hard, and then you put yeah. water in them, and yeah. they swell. That is glucomallin. So that is, okay. I'm not obviously suggesting anyone eats their sponge, because right. there will be other things in <laughs> so it just helps with the visuals of what it is so it comes from the cognac plant completely natural and then the only other things that we have in there is a um, freeze-dried lemon essential oil so that it's really super clean in terms of the flavoring and then a mm. tiny bit of stevia just to help with that you've got to balance the sweet and sour exactly so that enough. that's all that's in there yeah. Just with and you just water and mix it, with it thickens water. very quickly. Mm -hmm. So we put a little That's bit really in nice water. Lovely little uh, shows the tummy. Here. Can, yeah. you see, can you see the stomach? This is kind of like yeah. <laughs> the tummy before and after. Absolutely. Full of that lovely fiber. So it does thicken very, very quickly it's and it seems kind of a, a sort of a gel. So some people like taking it in a long drink and, and drinking you that drink you know, quickly. quickly. I personally think, and the way we recommend is in a small sort of half a glass of water mix in the teaspoon drink that and then okay. follow with a really large glass of water as well so that you make sure it's all going down and it just it then helps that swelling process within the tummy yeah yeah oh i can smell the lemon yeah i'm gonna show you the sort of the, the yeah. little granulate bits there. The, the, the lemon is yeah we work really hard with that scent. And that, that, yeah, that, that, that that exactly. And, lemon and essence, natural flavorings can cover so much. And actually, we work really, really hard on this thing. Mm -hmm. We want it to be as clean as possible, and also so that it was friendly for fasting periods, etc. So making sure that nothing there was 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 going to interrupt right. fasting. Okay. What about taking other supplements alongside? I can see Anne saying she takes burgatone. I don't actually know what burgatone is, if I'm very honest, but it. Oh, that's something from Naked fine. Pharmacy, which helps okay. with fat then in the liver. It will have no contraindications with anything else you're taking because it is literally just no. a fibre. That's it, exactly. Just There's no bit. other vitamins, right. minerals, etc. Yeah. in that, which is how it doesn't interrupt your fast. So absolutely mm -hmm. fine to take with anything else. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Anything else, it's completely neutral. Uh, Nonny is saying, I love all your products. Oh, that's very fine. I take Thank the antioxidants. You. Got the antioxidants. 
here. This is yes. Um, so do you want to just mention Astaxanthin, one, so one, one of our absolute favourites. No, so Astaxanthin is is up to 5,000 times Open more potent as an antioxidant as vitamin C. So we all know the benefits of vitamin C for immunity, but also, um, again, you have to be careful with the wording, but anti-aging. But actually, uh, an antioxidant, it's pro-aging. Pro-aging. So that's a deep that word that comes from that organic red that's algae. Red. And it's what gives flamingos their pink colour. It's what gives yeah. salmon its pink colour. So it, and it actually has a very natural SPF yeah, balance to it as well. So antioxidant is utterly brilliant very inflammation brilliant. immunity pro-aging because it helps with oxidative damage within the body so it can help reverse aging and help mm -hmm. oxidative stress within the body and repair cells mm -hmm. yeah. yeah absolutely no, and, it, and it's clinically proven it's sometimes yeah like, i mean I, I i take astaxanthin in my collagen it, it's just one of those things that as we age and i think we're all surrounded by so much oxidative stress you know the pollution the air that we're breathing stress generally cell damage yeah. we just need to and even the products our cell membranes. Our skin, they you are know, all the toxins to the body because they're not you know they're not all completely natural so you know, we have to support the body in binding and releasing what it needs to bind which again fiber can be helping us with that in terms of you know excretion but also helping repair that cellular damage with things like the antioxidant and i think that word's been around for so long we, we often use it, but don't necessarily understand what it truly means, you know, and, and that's it. It's repairing and clearing out the body. Very interesting. And uh, I can see Nikki there is asking, is it OK to take with high histamine? Presumably because yes. you've said it, it's completely neutral. It's just a new. Absolutely. No, it won't. Well, and often it can help. Anything. A lot of um, tablets will find it says take with a meal and things like that. Quite because it can sometimes, they can make you feel nauseous if they're too strong, etc. So again, if you've got to take what can be a, a relatively high, high dose of a supplement or something, this is really good to take before that as well, along, alongside a meal so that you can really ensure it gets absorbed properly. Mm. I'm just going to leave a pause before I talk oh. because I can see there's a slight delay on the line. Sometimes that happens, so I don't need it to look as if I'm talking over you. Apologies, apologies. So for those who are late to the party today, the main thing that we've been talking about is the Feel Great Fibre. Elizabeth, do you want to just give us a quick recap? Because it's so important. There are so many benefits from this, particularly in relation to weight management, weight loss. If you're looking to trim down a bit for the summer, this is such a good, we're not going to say health hack. Yeah, great. So habit. taking this 20 minutes before your three main meals or your two main meals and before a snack in the afternoon or even whilst you're fasting, not only does it increase the fiber content and 70 percent of uk adults don't get their recommended daily allowance of fiber so not it helps with adding fiber into your diet but it also slows the absorption of glucose from any subsequent meal that you eat meaning that you are balancing your blood sugar levels therefore balancing your energy levels throughout the day reducing your cravings because where you don't have a sugar high and a sugar low you're going to reduce your cravings throughout the day and even the following day, depending on what you've eaten. So you're maintaining those blood sugar levels is going to help you snack less. It's going to give you more energy. It's going to help reduce inflammation within the body. It's also going to help with the processing of the gut microbiome and how we manage the food that we then eat. And, and indeed, the, the nutrition we take from that food, because if your gut's not right, you're not absorbing the nutrition. So it's hugely important for so many things. Yeah, absolutely Pleasure. brilliant. Elizabeth, thank you. And thank you, everybody at GP Nutrition for the generous 15% discount. We love you. We are very, very grateful. And it is going to make a lot of difference to a Pleasure. lot of people. Pleasure. And just to so repeat that that is site-wide, that, that Liz Loves Codes, so that's across all products because we love our Liz Loves mm. people. Um, and also, if anyone's got any questions, please DM and ask us. I know it can be overwhelming seeing which products to go for. So please DM us, contact us. We'd love to answer yeah. your questions. Very Brilliant. Good. Lovely to Great. see you. Thanks, Liz. Speak Thank soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Sending you lots of love. Thank you. Bye. You click off on the little square. Absolutely brilliant. So that's gpnutrition.com. Liz Loves gets 15% off, as Elizabeth said, site wide. Many of you chatting about Burgatone, and that's from Naked Pharmacy. Really good for helping to control cholesterol. Again, with weight loss, I could see really good comments uh, about uh, people who've already 
been experiencing weight loss with the Burgertone. So this is what it looks like from the Naked Pharmacy, Burgertone. And there is a good discount on that as well, 20% off the Naked Pharmacy. We love you, Kevin. Thank you. Come back and be a guest again soon. Um, and also somebody else that we love and we've had lots and lots of comments on is by Sarah London. Again, 20% off with Liz Loves. And this is what we are loving, especially the moisture mask. Oh my goodness. If your skin is a little bit dehydrated and you need something just to push that moisture and that plumpness back into the skin, then this, I have to say, it's actually become one of my favorite products. So there we go. Uh, so that's buysarahlondon.com, 20% off. Now we talked a little bit about chocolate and about blood sugar and about treats. And of course we are gearing up for Easter. So that is a really good time to, do you know what? Just have a little bit of a sweet treat. And if you're going to choose a really good chocolate brand, one of my favorites is Solcum Dairy. I love these guys. This is made by hand in Solcum down in Devon. And this actually is a really good one. This is a vegan egg. Yeah, it's a vegan egg with a vegan chocolate bar inside. And it's just made with cocoa butter and raw cane sugar. And it's got Peruvian cacao nibs. So a little bit of coconut oil. So if you know somebody who is lactose intolerant or who is purely plant-based, but you know, they make everything down in Devon, even the card packaging. There is a Liz Loves discount as well. It's 10% off. Solcum Dairy, and you can find those, solcumdairy.co.uk. Final postage date, if you are watching me for real, in real time, is the 4th of April. So today, if you want to just have it normally delivered, 48 hours. But if you want it in time for delivery, you can select the 24 hour option. Um, and that's by the end of tomorrow. So you have got a little bit of time, the rest of today, and tomorrow to get these in time for Easter. And I just want to show you, what have we got here? I mean, this is a really lovely one. Look at that beautiful hand decorated egg with your chocolates inside. And they do little Easter rabbits. And this is the cutest thing. This is a little box of chocolate truffles, but truffles with a difference. And you see, oops, they look like little mini eggs. Little mini eggs in there. So delicious really really good so thank you and hi to everybody down in Salcom. i love Salcom dairy it's just so brilliant and it's lovely to support a really beautiful british chocolate brand that's doing everything sustainably using grass-fed milk and cream from literally the devon cows in the field next to where they make the chocolate i mean it is just a lovely lovely brand so go and check them out they are at salcomdairy.co.uk Okay, solcomdairy.co.uk. Liz Loves gets you 10% off everything there as well. Anyway, that is it from me for today. I will be back with you on Thursday. Uh, and we are going to be talking about heart, eye and brain health. And in particular, omega-3 fatty acids. So if that's something that interests you, pop that in your diary for 12.30 on Thursday. And I shall look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. Lots of hearts back. Thanks for all the love. Have a great day.